going on? Why can't anyone go in? My friend, have we met before? So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here. Including Clocky. All the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Anunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. <sighs> no way! Not even close! Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Asdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivity that Panacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus... He became known as the father of Panacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. 
Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. So they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacony. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up, like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. We are truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker. His connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get- Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us.
Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Flight. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Maybe the footprints here are different from the rest. There are two... Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador of Venturine. Aventuring. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. This is where the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It is so far. Quick! World cleansing dragon! <laughs> Oblivion. <laughs> still waters of oblivion. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. No one's around to entertain us. Let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Seek, and you will find. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, 
That person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. This light cone. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah. Time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities in them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, He's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With 
all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataga Avjin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they show? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Well, ask and you shall receive. You wanted the Perfect construction materials. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? 
I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Thirty Tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go. Pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then? Use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? <laughs> if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I never to return? Dreaming? Have I gone completely insane? Perhaps so. Forgotten me already? When you were... Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. Exactly, you are. You're dying. And you still want 
to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you could pull it off? Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone. Before your entire be gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Why are there no guests here? What's that featherhead doing? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. Allowed in golden hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. <laughs> Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? That they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. <sighs> Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, Mister. Hope you have a good time too. Those eyes. And Mama Funga. No, no, it. It can't. There aren't any Aptons left. Yeah! 
visions of the past. <laughs> Mama Thunga. No, no, it. doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on that, Cody. And relying on your own strength alone to topple <laughs> Not a likely scene. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. Good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracy. Calculation. <laughs> especially the part about the finale. A magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap? The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, and was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IP. I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? It's not going to be me, anyway.
playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Mama said goodbye that day. How many catechins were like jackals and hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis. And ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Well, your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed.
this the topaz <laughs> what does your corners don't wrench out of your heart <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here maybe that winged guy put it here to taunt you <laughs> just to make you realize Just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was like perv. Or maybe he wasn't acting no. at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough seat, which is why you had a ratio to see him out and leave the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to ratio was all true. He spoke of the same this Sunday. Finally, 
Sunday took the bait, found me the cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for Aventurine, too. Aventurine, Topaz, Jade. Three leaves, three cornerstones to for a measly panic help me offer to their everything. Oh. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Check it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you stand. After all, it really does resemble it. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they were. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the Aventurine stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough. Every step you take involves reckless risks, and the choices you prepare for yourself only come with a strong impulse for self-destruction. Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the reward? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is...
We'll just have to wait and see then. Ah, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. I'm <laughs> sure. How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. Why aren't you talking? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you. Our quaint journey through this still isn't over, and I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all.
It's got nothing to do with you. Shut up. Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponent would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breathing? Did that last fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? <laughs> Bloom into new flowers? us with two pieces of jewelry, a necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a uh, That's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you did it somehow. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So you surely won't forget how tragic her last the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. 
enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that from start to finish. Think about it. There's a Celeron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. Death. But whose exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still. You never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who receives Gaiatha's blessing? <sighs> it's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear?
else he can be going. Whether it's in the past, present, or future. Other shoes. Cleansing dragon. <laughs> Among the sea of 
butterflies. Illusions of the past. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they? Life is the 
the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains and spotless. can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Deleron and an emanator. It's that simple. For you, you'll just have to split the leash, leave the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with the death of its curtain. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. So luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why? to the kid before you shuffle off. It's best to die without regrets.
Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. I'm <laughs> sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. I'm actually a merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is... Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakabasha. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. Imagine will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons. Little did the catechins know. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The ca Without this rain, the catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you a Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. 
I must answer the call. And she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakapasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casual... The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Is this Miss Acheron? Yep. Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Uh... Hello? 
Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where... There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning, and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. You're talking weird again. But it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But... Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out, then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. <laughs> <laughs>